Hey all, it's Scott from Your365 Coach and today we're going to be looking at some new changes in Microsoft Copilot that Microsoft have announced as part of its Wave 2 release. They're going to include changes in Microsoft Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel and more, as well as new capabilities for Copilot agents and Copilot pages. But what do these changes mean to you? Well how about we look at them in a little bit more detail and explain what they can do how best you can use them because these changes won't be so far away either. And before we dive in, hit that like button to let me know this video has helped you, and the all important subscribe button because we're going to focus more great content on these features in the future and show how you can get the most from them when they're available to you. So let's go and check out a little bit more about this announcement and what it means for you. So the first big change is a rebrand to a feature you've already used. If you've used Microsoft Copilot chat in Teams or on the web, that's been rebranded to BizChat. Yes, the BizChat experience isn't fundamentally changing, but it's seen as the single way you should be able to work with Copilot to generate ideas and more. But with BizChat, there's always been a gap. Taking your idea and sharing it with colleagues has been difficult. So Copilot Pages has now arrived. You can simply take your Copilot idea bring it into a digital page known as a Copilot page and then share it into other apps or with your colleagues to refine the content, which is a great way to use a canvas to bring all your ideas together. And I know another app that does that pretty well, Microsoft Loop. And guess what? You can see that Copilot Pages is built on top of Microsoft Loop in the way it adds content to that canvas allows you and your colleagues to build it out and copy it into different apps across Microsoft 365. And what's the app we all use every day? Microsoft Outlook, I would guess. And there's a new change for Copilot there. You can have Copilot prioritize your inbox. In other words, prioritize the emails that you should focus on. Much like we do today with categories and also flags, but Copilot will now summarize those emails to understand the highest priority. Not only that, you can even have Copilot actually build out rules you can learn it from to understand a little bit more about your inbox. For example, if you've got a supplier you need to work with which are high priority for you, you can always ensure those emails go right to the top of the stack and are high priority. But others that are coming out from your newsletters are lower priority and should be marked as such with Copilot. So capability that you can now use in Outlook with Copilot allow you to prioritize your inbox in much better ways. And Copilot in PowerPoint has been probably one of the weakest capabilities so far. Personally, I've created PowerPoint, it's been great to start off with, but you end up having to reorganize the slides or recreate some of your content. But now you have a new narrative builder inside a PowerPoint. When you give it the task of creating a PowerPoint deck, it now shows you the contents of the slides that you can reorganize to your particular needs or draft specific slides within that deck and even reference other files. As well as that, you'll now have Microsoft Designer integration to bring your images in that can be generated by AI and Copilot. And even better, it now supports the use of company brands. So if you had an image library you'd like to have within your slides to choose from, Copilot can use that library from your brand center and even use company templates you've got for your PowerPoint files Yes, there's no more need for you to use the standard Microsoft templates. You can now use your own company templates and have Copilot generate those slides using that template and build you the better slide deck that you needed. If you're struggling on Microsoft 365 Copilot, then we believe we can help you out. We've developed a brand new masterclass with 40 video tutorials covering how to use Microsoft 365 Copilot in Outlook, Word, Excel, Teams, OneDrive and more. You can find out more information from the web link below and get enrolled on our masterclass. Otherwise, let's dive back into those new capabilities in Microsoft Copilot. And Microsoft Word also gets some Copilot changes. A new experience allows you to jumpstart and use Copilot to create content. But as well as that, you can now have Copilot reference multiple sources. For example, you can ask it to create a document but to use a document that you've used before as a template, as a structure of that document. And even better, if you have your meeting notes captured as part of Copilot, you can also point Copilot to that file 
so you can build the whole document around the discussion points you had in your meeting, so we have more options to create documents in Word with the help of Copilot. And Copilot in Excel has now reached general availability. Yes, the preview label has now been removed, meaning you can use Copilot inside of Excel to build out on your data. But now again, there's new capabilities. Your data doesn't need to be in a table to use Copilot. It's pretty frustrating at times for me, making sure that my data fitted a table. Also, it can now understand text in rows. You can have whole rows of data built on text from a form survey result, and ask Copilot to summarize and understand the results. And again, that data doesn't need to be in a table. As well as that, we now have Python availability inside of Excel. It can build out charts and analyze your data in much better ways than what we've seen with Copilot has done before. So more advanced capability without writing a single line of code for Python is certainly a big advancement inside of the world of Excel. And what about Microsoft Teams? Well, there's a change to meeting recaps. If you use that before, you may have noticed that Copilot only understands the meeting recap that's been taken. If you had a conversation in Teams chat or asked questions by someone in the meeting, that is not included in the recap. But Copilot now has access to that chat inside of your meeting. It can now review it alongside the meeting notes it's been taken and then understand when you ask questions later of Copilot all the relevant information. It's no longer to be restricted just on the meeting recap capability. And there's big changes in Copilot agents because now you can build your own agents built on top of Copilot without writing a single line of code. And you can even use SharePoint sites to develop your own Copilot agents. As an example, we'll take a HR site. You've got a range of policies and procedures. You can highlight all of those files and also ensure that Copilot uses as a source of the information. When you publish your Copilot later specific to your HR area, your employees can ask questions of Copilot about the policies that you hold in SharePoint. It can use that as a source of the truth and therefore give you the ability to create an agent, both for that purpose and many others, built on data that sits in SharePoint. You'll even have the capability to step outside of that and use Power Automate to run different actions with different apps to make your agents even more powerful when it comes to Copilot. So what do you think about these new changes in Microsoft Copilot and what would you like to see in the future? But if you are struggling on using Copilot in the best ways, well, check out our latest on-demand masterclass because we've got over 40 videos to help you get the most from Microsoft 365 Copilot and ensure you get the return you need from your original investment. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that like button to let me know this video has helped you. The all important subscribe button to find tutorials on all of these new features and how you can get the most from them in the near future. Otherwise, well, I'll be seeing you on the next one.